welcome to my YouTube video looking at all of Fujifilm's um, Instax hybrid range. Uh, I kind of collect these, um, so they're all mine and I've taken images on all of them. So I will show you some images later um, just to demonstrate the differences between them. Um, so these two here, the SQ10 and 20, they take the square film and uh, the Instax, Play and Evo, they take the mini film, which is this size. Um, uh, also, um, the the mini ones are also Bluetooth printers, so you can uh, use an app and print from your phone. Whereas the square versions, um, you, you do your editing on the camera, uh, like apply filters and vignetting, and then you um, print, you, you can, um, use SD cards of all of these. So you can transfer images via the SD card to a computer, but you cannot print from your phone via Bluetooth with the squares cameras. So um, just taking a quick look at the film, um, this the SQ10 and 20, they take images of 1920 times 1920, whereas the mini takes images 2000, 560 times 1920. What that means is you can fit more onto a smaller film with the mini compared to the square. So the mini is better for like landscape because of the format, it's more wide. Whereas um, the square is better at portraits, for example. I would say the square film is about 1.5 times the size of the mini. One problem I do have with the square film is um, the cost, the cost of the square film is um, the same cost as a wide film, which is a bit crazy because of the difference in size. I don't know why it's so expensive. Okay, um, so uh, in terms of the camera itself, it, they all pretty much have the same camera. One, one difference is they did actually downgrade from SQ10 onwards. Um, from a one fourth of an inch sensor to a one fifth of an inch with the others. I think with the SQ20, they didn't really compensate very well for this change. So um, it has a higher focal length of 33.4 millimeters compared to 28, um, which means you cannot fit as much in your frame at the same distance compared to um, the SQ10. So you may have to stand back a bit more. I would say the soft, it, it's not quite optimised neither in terms of, um, it does use a higher ISO value and the colours can look washed out and grainy with the SQ20, but they did fix that problem with the Lee Play and Eva, which takes much better looking images than the SQ20. Another difference is uh, build quality. The SQ10 has the best build quality out of all of them. Uh, it just feels more sturdy, it's heavier, but the plastic is better quality. It has like a rubberized ring around here. It has metal parts on it. Um, the screen's really nice, the buttons feel quite sturdy. Uh, whereas with the others, they're a bit more plasticky. So it's like they were trying to save a bit of money. Uh, the battery, you can also remove it from the SQ10, which you can't do with the others because it's uh, built in. Um, I would say the battery lasts longer on the SQ10 compared to the others as well. Uh, the SQ10 also has a tripod hull, which is good because it has bulb mode. Even though the SQ20 also has bulb mode, it has no tripod hull, which is a bit pointless really. The Lee Play has no tripod hull, but they did reintroduce it back with the um, Evo. Okay. Um, other differences is you've got selfie mirrors, which is quite useful. It don't exist on the SQ10. So it's a bit harder trying to do selfies. I usually use a reflection on the glass, but it's a lot harder. Another downgrade was the uh, flash. On the SQ10, it's a traditional flash. It has a range of about eight meters. Whereas on the others, it's an LED flash. So they're a lot less powerful and they can only go up to two meters. I would say on the SQ20 is the least powerful out of all of them. Um, so if we start by looking at the square ones, 
So I do prefer the software and the interface on, this, on the SQ10 and 20. It kind of flows better. Whereas on the Elite Play and Evo, it's more like uh, a standard um, digital camera kind of menu pages. I also prefer the filters on the SQ10 and 20. Uh, if I start from normal, just to show you the different filters. Some of my favorite filters are actually the partial color filters. So it filters out all other colors except one. Um, you can get some really cool artistic effects with that. That does not exist on the Lee Play or the Evo. So there's 10 filters and they're really easy to scroll through. Um, so yeah, um, the Evo has the most filters out of all these cameras. It has 10 film filters and 10 frame filters. So that's a hundred different combinations. The Lee Play has the least with six filters, but you do have um, frames as well with the Lee Play that don't exist on the others, which you can apply before or after taking the image. One thing to note with this camera, the SQ10 and 20, is it does not save the image with the filter applied. So if you uh, transfer the SD card over to your computer, it will only contain the image without the filter. But one good thing with these cameras is you can um, change the filters as much as you like and print from the camera. So yes, the uh, I do like the uh, filters on here. You can also do vignetting as well. So the software is pretty much the same on the SQ20, but with some added extras, which I'll go through later. I'll just quickly scroll for that so you can have a quick look. Um, different options for the flash and the SQ10 that don't exist on the others, such as slow synchro and red eye and slow flash. The others are LED flashes, so they don't have that. You can also uh, change your exposure. Um, and you can do that on all the cameras as well. You can zoom in uh, on images after you've taken them and then print. So it's kind of a post digital zoom. One difference with the SQ20 is you can actually zoom in more easy because you can, like with the ring around here, you can do, use a digital zoom that way. But because it's a low resolution camera, the more you zoom in, the worse the image looks. So the additions on the SQ20 are, is the ability to use video. So you can like, um, take a, a video of something moving. It doesn't save the sound, there's no sound on here. And then you can frame grab from that video. So that's the main purpose of the video on there. The screen on here is half the resolution that it is on the SQ10, unfortunately. Uh, it's also low on the Lee Play, uh, but they have increased it back up to what was on the SQ10 with the Evo. So the screens on the SQ20 and Lee Play aren't as good. Other options on the SQ20 don't exist on the SQ10. Are, um, you have um, a frame guide, which is quite useful. You also have more shooting modes. So on the SQ10, you have bulb mode, double exposure, and normal mode. You have that on the SQ20, but in addition to that, you have split, where, where you can um, add more than one image onto a single frame. The issue with this is you have to take the image within five minutes of each other because the camera switches off and resets. So it's not like you can take an image and go back half an hour later and add another one on, unfortunately. Um, you also have collage, which is like split, but with more funky patterns. Um, you also have something quite strange called um, time shift collage. Um, I haven't quite got the hang of this. What it does is you can like take a picture of something in motion, um, say, I don't know, a skateboarder or some during sport, someone running, and it 
creates a time delay so you get the motion captured on four separate uh, frames um, so that doesn't exist on the um, on the SQ10 so it does have a lot of great features on the SQ20 but the image quality is not good which I'll go through later in comparison the uh, Lee Play and the Evo have a more traditional kind of style so the Lee Play only has six filters um, but it has frames as well, which don't exist on any other camera. Um, so the menu pages are quite, it's not as, um, f it doesn't flow as well, I'd say, as the square versions. And of course, you've got the sound function. What this is, is you when you press this button and take a picture, um, you can record a sound clip and then add that to the image via a QR code. So when you give someone that image, they can play back a message such as happy birthday. I won't go into too much detail with um, the Lee Play or the Evo because I have already done a video on them. So feel free to take a look at that. Um, there is a cold tune mount on the Evo. Um, yeah, and like I said, there's many more uh, filters on here. So there's a um, 10 frame, um, 10 film and 10 lens, sorry. So there's a hundred different combinations. So you do have double exposure on here on the Evo as well. You don't have double exposure on the lead play though, unfortunately. You also don't have bulb mode, which exists on the Q10 and the SQ20. For print quality, um, they all have about 12.5 dots per millimeter. Uh, except for the Evo, when you print directly from the Evo, that gets doubled to 25 mm dots per millimeter. Um, but from the app, it goes back down to the 12.5 dots per millimeter. So they're all very similar print quality and you only print it onto a small film. And I haven't really noticed a difference with the Evo, to be honest. Um, so yeah, they're all very similar in terms of the prints just quickly show you my computer screen and some images so this one here is the sq20 it's a double exposure you may be able to see like um a cross with flowers overlaying um so that's the sq20 if we compare that to the sq10 it, i just think it looks better the image is sharper um and it just looks uh nicer and then we have the evo as you can see the different in the format there so it's a bit wider that also came out quite well but out of all those images i say the sq10 was the best um and the sq20 was the worst it isn't quite as um uh nice as the others another interesting thing is the difference in colors between um the sq10 20 and the Lipone Evo. The colours are a lot more dull on an overcast day with the square cameras than they are with the mini cameras. So this is the um, SQ10 image um, and the SQ20 is not a lot of difference. I find for outdoor images the SQ20 is very similar to the SQ10. Um, it's only indoors it really does struggle though. Um, so if we now compare that to the um, Lee play as you can see the colors completely change it it's a lot more vivid it's maybe a bit more unrealistic but i do prefer the colors of the um mini cameras and that's the evo so they're all quite similar um now we're going to look at a really boring image the reason i took an image of this messy shelf is uh so you can get an idea of how the image looks when you zoom in so all these are taken with a flash uh, so the SQ10 did quite well. You can read the writing on the books there. But if you compare that to um, the SQ20, it, the colours are really muted and not very nice and it's very grainy um, and the writing's quite hard to make out there. If we compare that to Lee Play, they do do better but still struggle a bit because obviously it's got an LED flash. So it's not quite as good as um, the uh, SQ10. Um, I would say the Evo did better than the Lee Play, but they are quite similar um, there. So yeah, that's just to get an idea of indoor images with a flash. I also just quickly took a picture um, 
of a soft toy um, without a flash indoors, poor lighting. Just so you can get an idea of the difference in the colors between them. So this is the SQ10. Um, so it's got an ISO of 1600, so it's highest ISO value. But when we go to the SQ20, it's very washed out and it's too bright. It's tried to overcompensate almost. Um, and if we compare that to the Lee Play, that turned out okay. Um, and then the Evo. So yeah, the, um, the summary to take away from this is um, the SQ20 just struggle the most out of all of them. So to summarize, um, what I'll do is I'll take all the best features out of all of them to to explain what I think my the perfect camera would be. Um, so I'd take the build quality of the SQ10, the software from the SQ20 and the video function, and the Bluetooth capability of the um, LeePlay and Evo, and make it into the wide format. So a wide version of a hybrid camera would be great. Um, so let me know what you think. I know this was uh, just a quick look, but um, there is definitely some differences. Um, yeah, so I also have a written view comparing all these. So please feel free to take a look at that. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.